In the third section of our lecture, Infections of the Burn Wounds, we will discuss different diagnostic steps. And uh, when we will talk about the diagnosis, we will discuss the biopsies of the uh, burn wounds and also polymerase chain reaction. What are the complications of the burn wound infections and also burn surgical uh, wound infections? So the diagnosis is uh, wound biopsies are done for definitive diagnosis of the uh, burn wound infections. Here you can see very bad case of the burn wound infection. Timing of uh, biopsies guided by the clinical changes which are present. Biopsy specimen examined for histologic evidence of bacterial invasion. So biopsies are performed mainly to look for the invasion of a microorganism or histological evidence of bacterial invasion if it is present on biopsy or not. Uh, quantitative microbiologic uh, cultures also perform. So biopsies are done to look for the histological evidence of invasion of microorganisms or bacteria and also culture can be performed for the definitive identification of the causative microorganism and cultures usually are the specimen obtained from the uh, burn wound infections which can be any uh, purulent specimen pus uh, or any uh, sloughed material so usually the cultures are performed uh, to look for or find for the specific organism so proper treatment or management can be performed usually the patients as we already discussed in the uh, pathophysiology that uh, immune system is impaired in patients with the burn injuries or burn wound. So the uh, microorganisms which are usually not very uh, uh, pathogenic, they attack the body as a result of impaired immune response and they can cause infections uh, and different microorganisms attack the body. So uh, it's very sometimes hard to find out single microorganism on culture which is the causative organism but we can uh, always give it a try. Then we have a uh, presence of uh, more than 10 uh, to the power of 5 viable bacteria per gram tissue, uh, suggestive of invasive in in, uh, infection and dramatically increased risk of sepsis. So on the uh, biopsy, to look for the invasive microorganism, we uh, uh, look if the number of microorganism is more than 10 to, to the power of 5, it means that there is uh, invasive infection present and there is increased risk of sepsis. If invasion is present, it invades the deep tissues and it invades the blood vessels and reaches the bloodstream and causes sepsis. Blood cultures uh, positive for same organism in large quantities in tissue biopsied, uh, reliable indicator of burn sepsis. Non-invasive technique in determining the uh, flora rapid identification of uh, organisms institution of appropriate therapy and PCR now used for identification of specific pathogen. So uh, 
polymerase chain reaction is also used for the rapid identification of the organism and non-invasive technique and it can be used for the proper uh, initiation or institution of the appropriate therapy. Pneumonia often acquired nosocomially is the nosocomial is the hospital acquired pneumonia. So pneumonia is acquired, we already mentioned very top number complication is the pneumonia in the burn wound infections. It's nosocomial while the patient is in the hospital, they develop the pneumonia because of the low immune system different microorganisms can attack and they can also uh, go into the lungs and cause pneumonia via the respiratory route risk factor associated with secondary pneumonia are the uh, inhalation injury like intubation full thickness chest wall burns uh, cutaneous thermal injuries, immobility, blood transfusions, and uncontrolled wound sepsis with hematogenous spread. So all these factors can lead to secondary pneumonia if the patient in the uh, hospital uh, needs to be intubated they can develop pneumonia if the chest is infected or, uh, or is if the chest is affected by the burn wound it can spread to the lungs and then we have uh, blood transfusions can also cause it and hematogenous spread of different microorganisms Suppurative uh, thrombophlebitis, some complications that can occur. We have suppurative thrombophlebitis, inflammation of the veins, uh, complicated vascular catheterization. So suppurative thrombophlebitis can occur as a result of vascular catheterization. Uh, we have also endocarditis, urinary tract infection, septic pulmonary emboli may occur, bacterial chondritis, and intra-abdominal infection. So all these complications can occur as a result of burn wound infections, bacterial chondritis, inflammation of the cartilage, septic uh, pulmonary emboli, and endocarditis and urinary tract infections. Burn surgical wound infections contribute to the morbidity infection in up to 39% of the patient staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome infection results in repeat skin grafting and prolonged hospitalization. So burn surgical wound infection. If the burn patients undergo surgery for different uh, uh, graft procedure for skin grafting, uh, they can, the most common patient uh, microorganism is the staphylococci, which can cause staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. And uh, in patients who get repeat skin grafting these infections are common and who require prolonged hospitalization. So this was all about section 3. Thank you for watching scardia.com.